Ashley Medekwe, everybody. Ashley Medekwe. Ashley, how lovely to finally meet you. Nice to meet you. You look very nice. Thanks. Um, Little black dress, always cold nice. Cold as hell. You're cold? <laughs> if you can... I don't want anyone to see my nipples. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll turn the heating up, shall we? I mean, could you? Yeah, yes, we'll turn the, turn the heating up. Thanks. <laughs> no, it's fine. We can't afford heating in here. On ABC, it's always warm. Yeah, it is. That, that's where they're going wrong. <laughs> hey, uh, congratulations on the show. This is the big... Uh, the, it's like the Downton Abbey of ABC, isn't it? It's, it's like... I mean, yeah. Well, yes. Kind um, of. It, it's, I mean, it's, what I'm saying is it's seen as high-quality drama. People with... like it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. It's no, <laughs> it's no accounting for taste. No, stop. No. It's a lovely... I love, I love it, and I'm, I like doing it, and I get to give moody looks and things like that, as you saw. Yeah, no, I was... It's I was, very serious. It's very difficult, I think, that kind of acting, because you've got a lot of plot to do all the time. It's like, I didn't know George was really your brother, and, right, and you have to make all that stuff you up. You forget. Yeah. You forget the plot. You it would happens. have to. You yeah, know. you would have to. Um, and luckily, there's someone there whose job it is to keep control of that and remind us. And no, you're, you're not sleeping with him this week, that kind of plot. Yeah. <laughs> you did sleep with him, but you've got amnesia. Yes. You're right. Yeah, basically. Did, did you... Uh, you're not American, though. I'm not. Did you just realise I just that? noticed, yeah. <laughs> At first, American. I didn't notice anything because it was so cold in here, but I'm beginning <laughs> to calm down. I'm calming down, and I'm noticing other things. I pressed them in. Shh, don't keep mentioning them. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. However magnificent they may be, don't. <laughs> or, no. not, or not. Or not. No, no. Uh, anyway, look, they... Uh, yeah, well, where are you from? I'm from London, born and raised. Oh, I love London. I used to live in London. You did? I south, did. North or South? North London, Islington. <laughs> Where did you live? I'm a South Londoner. Oh, South London people smell of vomit. You don't. <laughs> North, North London is a full of... Moped. Everyone oh, knows calm that. now. That's Everyone not knows true. That. I, did, uh, I, did, I did sell out and move to North London. Cause I, I... Ah, because it's more trendy and you get rid of that vomit smell. <laughs> Because there's more, there's more tube stations. Yes, there's more tube. That's an underground railway. Subway. <laughs> I know all the lingo. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been on Doctor Who? No. You should. I feel like I am on, on Doctor Who. It is a little bit Doctor Who-y in here, we like to think. I've got a TARDIS. Look, I've got a TARDIS right there. Where? Yeah, oh, yeah, the little... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, never been on Doctor Who. Does that disappoint you? No, I was just asking. No, never yeah. been on Doctor Who. I've been on The Bill. Which the they bill. Don't know that, about. No, the bill's a great show in Britain. It's like, uh, it's like, what is it like? It's like Law and Order, yeah. but for British people. And it's been running forever. It's been cancelled now, but it was running forever. It's where all the cops were like, oh, I think he did it. Oh, no, he did it. So let's get him. <laughs> all right then. I'm going to have him, yeah, yeah. Now, do you think Cockneys have got tiny little mouths? I've noticed that their mouths get tiny and small, aren't they? <laughs> No, I mean, I've got quite a, I've got a London accent. Is my mouth tiny and small? No, no, I don't think you're originally a Cockney, now. Oh, yeah. uh, have you? No, know, I what? was born within the sound of the Bow Bells. Well, you really? make you a fishing Yeah, Cockney. that makes you a Cockney, of Island course. Island Hospital. What, what? <laughs> Is that some kind of London thing? That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you put your, put your L's up. Oh, really? For, was that for London? Yeah, put your L's up. <laughs> do, do it again. <laughs> no. All right. I, I just wanted to check sign? if it was still cold. That's all. Do you have a Scottish sign? No. Scottish sign? Yes, yeah, it's a Scottish sign. What's yeah. the Scottish sign? <laughs> Itsy Bitsy Spider. <laughs> like a complicated... Itsy Bitsy Spider. That's how they, they threw fear into the English during the battle. They're like, Itsy Bitsy Spider, yeah. you're going to die. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that sounds right. No, it's it's. You'd not, know more than I would. I wouldn't know. I've been here for years. I was uh, twenty almost years. I've been here. I've lost my accent and everything. No, you haven't. You haven't. Uh, when I go to Scotland, they say I have. Don't they say that to you when you go back to oh, London? Oh, my mum says to me, and this is a direct quote: "Why do you sound like you've got Crikey. in your mouth?" <laughs> which, which means I'm speaking too posh, I guess. I suppose. <laughs> 
I just speak like you... Crikey, you sound to me like you've got... Crikey, in your man. I don't sound like that to myself either. But you do sound a bit more London than you sound... You sound posher in this show than you sound in... Well, in... that's because they couldn't understand me. She originally... She's supposed to be from Croydon, which is where I went to school, and nobody sound... Well, I, that's a generalisation, but people don't tend to sound well-spoken if they're from Croydon, and then, um, my... <laughs> they no one knew what I was saying. Well, Croydon is if you talk like that. It's, it's kind of like, like London, that. yeah. Yeah, it's all around Croydon. Yeah, come Kate, in here, come Kate over there. From, yeah. from Croydon. Done that. So no one knew what we were saying. Well, I don't know what, what I was, I was saying. saying. Yes. And I had to redub it. Are you uh, are you based here now in Los Angeles? Yes, in sunny LA. Would well, you like it? I do. I miss London. Really? Well. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. The subway. Yeah, the chimney sweeps. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> ladies flying around by umbrella. Mary Poppins. Uh, all lovely. This, yeah, I miss walking. San Francisco, they eat a lot of walking up and down. People parade up and down in that city. Yeah, but it's not warm, though. What? I've heard San... No, it's not. That's a myth. San Francisco is very cold. I've been in San Francisco when it's it was warm. It's windy. I don't like to be cold. Well, it's... it's I, I, I see. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I think you've been a bit picky. There's warm parts of America. What about Miami? That's roasting down there. I mean... I mean it's not what? a real place. Miami? <laughs> Yes, it is. I'm just killing cities now. No, no. one's going to have me. I'm never going to get the key to Miami at this rate. Well, but New Orleans, you'd like New Orleans. That's amazing. I actually do think I'd like that. It's amazing. I just went. They've uh, got that French thing going on. Yeah, they've got French. And they, it's they got, so they've got the southern accent, and but it's got a bit of French in it, so it's kind of like, oh, they all don't on we. Just like that? Oh, you're, uh, that's how they speak. Oh, they all don't on we. Almost Bayesian, a little like you're from. That's Barbados. Oh, Bayesian. I'm from Barbados. That's my oh. Rihanna impression. It's yeah, very nice. <laughs> well, um, we're out of time. <laughs> uh, do you want to? You want to throw frisbees at horse? Do you want to blow the mouth organ? What do you want to do? The frisbee thing. <laughs> you're right. She's that? like raring to go. Oh as well. yeah, you know, very excited horse. All right then. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'll give you these frisbees. And okay. then you throw them at the horse. That's it? Yeah, that's it, and we're done. Very technical. All right. From all right. here? We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Come on. There you are. <laughs> oh, nice. Crackers. Oh. <laughs> Ashley Madekwe, everybody. Ashley Madekwe. Great! Thanks. I love your th what's going on. There's a, yeah. it's a top, and then uh oh, and uh -oh. then some more. Yeah. You look really good. Well Thank done. You very much. Yeah, it's lovely. Is that wool? It is. I uh, I went for double knit this time because I know it's cold in here. <laughs> it is. I I surprised to see you. <laughs> so dressed. Well, kind of. Uh, hey, uh, congratulations on the show, but it's a bit scary. It's a bit spooky. I think I forget that, because when I'm there, I mean, there's always, like, 50 guys in the room and a boom, but... Well, that's, that's sometimes scary as well. <laughs> You've seen our boom operator, you, you know. Well, no, the, the idea of you messing around with the hum and I hear, num, and I I wouldn't do any of that. Why? You like to err on the side of caution. Well, yes, you don't want to go and deblin. If you believe in things you don't understand, then you'll suffer. <laughs> I know what you mean, because one day I had to bring a dead man to life, and my head... What, like, no, no, for acting? Acting. Yeah, yeah, for acting. Um, but the words were real, because I googled them, and they came up, so they were real spells. So then my hairstylist gave me a, a bracelet of tourmaline, which is supposed to ward off evil spirits. Better to be safe than sorry. Well, yes, but I don't even know. I mean, better to be just do a sitcom with a wacky neighbour. Don't I be all doing all this? You're like, hey, can I borrow anything from the refrigerator? No demons, nothing like that. It'd be fine. <laughs> I don't know. I would get fried. Where do you make it? Do you make it here? No, we make it in Shreveport, Louisiana. Well, that's another place that's quite scary. <laughs> Look, we've got to be nice to Shreveport because I'm going back. And no, I no, no, I'm not, I don't mean, mean about Shreveport. I mean, Louisiana's got some deep occult history It there. does, it does. Um, 
But not where we were. Shreveport was nice. They were lovely people. Well, I oh, mean, it's pretty nice to me. Well, S Salem's nice too. But you know, if you go back to you know, <laughs> back to. You know, I mean, it's, it's, there are many nice places, but if you start, I am an A, I am an A, I am. You don't know what can happen. Yeah. Did you ever do that when you were a kid? Did you ever do the Ouija board? No. Well, that's. I'm not stupid. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> are you a superstitious person? Yes. Really? For sure. Do you have, like, lucky things that you do before you, like, do other things? No. <laughs> not that kind of superstition, but, like, I would never say I don't believe in ghosts because then. A ghost is going to come and well, try to obvious. prove itself to you. Right. And every time you see a horror movie, they're like, oh, come on, you don't mm -hmm. believe it. And that, the one that doesn't believe in the things is the one first that gets ate. Yeah, first that's one the one that die. gets ate first. First one to ah. die. I don't believe in vampire sharks from another dimension. No! Straight away. Yeah. Do you watch that kind of stuff? I do. I'm, blood and guts doesn't freak me out, but like psychological freaks me out more. Right. Could you be a doctor, do you think? No. Well, I thought blood and guts didn't freak you out. That's different. Actually, it, I'm quite good with my cat. Like, if he's got anything pussy or a bit pooey, I'm fine with him. <laughs> so I'm not squeamish. <laughs> so, what you're saying is... Yes? You quite enjoy uh, getting involved when your cat's got anything... And uh, forgive me if I'm misquoting you, but pussy or a bit pooey. Yeah. Like a baby, so it's fine. It doesn't really. Well, that's true. I have children, and when they're very young and they're doing their, you know, you poop mind. thing, you don't actually. The smell of it, people are like, oh, how can you change diapers? Like it's my kid. Ah, you know, <laughs> different thing. My husband now. I'm not touching anything pooey of his. Well, you don't touch anything pooey. He's a grown ass man. He can deal with his own business. But sometimes, you know, if he has like a zit on his back or something, you may have to deal with that. Yeah, I'll go in. It's fine. I'll go in. You, you're saying that like you've already done it. I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how you know that you're going, it's going to work out. And the, because if you can do revolting things together... You think? Yeah. 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 But you do want some mystery, don't you? Well, yeah, you must never, uh, for example, never uh, pass gas in front of your spouse. Ever? <laughs> have I reached you too late with this news? <laughs> I'm a lady. Well, you're a lady, so it's I mean. Not for him. Well, yeah, no, well, you know, you must never do it. I mean, if you ever did it, which I doubt, it because you're a lady, it, it would be like, oh, yeah, yeah, like that. I don't, I don't even poo. Rose I don't either, but that's Rose that's just age. <laughs> <laughs> when I turned fifty, everything just stopped. <laughs> oh, if only that were true. Ah. <laughs> No, I mean, I think that the, a healthy kind of, you know, atmosphere, you know, like, I don't mean that about, you know, passing gas. I just mean, like, you know, just be, you know, a certain amount of mystery. mystery. Yeah, a little bit of sexual, yeah. you know, not knowing things. I think it's very important. Well, the only thing was that I was there when my kids were born. So, you know, you see, and I'm like, oh! I've been told that. <laughs> I've been told that, that it doesn't feel like, it doesn't look the same ever again. So, I um, th think he should be at this <laughs> What I was amazed at, you don't have any children yet, no. do you? No, I, yeah. I, what I was amazed at was not just the baby coming out, it was like everybody else that showed up. You know, it's like, it's a baby and a whole load of other stuff going on. Oh, yeah. It's like a parade. Oh, yeah, it keeps on coming. Yeah. I was like, what's all this? So no mystery there. Well, the thing is, though, if you love the person, it doesn't matter. It goes away and then you're looking like, and get back in there, it's fine. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad my husband's listening to all of this, right? Well, I think he'll be, he should be very happy about it, because if he gets traumatised, if and when you have children, he'll, uh, you know, he'll see it going on and he'll be like, well, One day he'll right. forget. Yeah, he'll be, well, he'll forget because the sleep deprivation of having a child <laughs> will make him forget. You're not selling this whole child thing to I'm, I'm just, I'm just, you know, or, or, you know, caution is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm advising a little bit of caution. Okay. Like, go out now because you won't ever again. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh, wow. No, it's fine. It's lovely. I'll it's... stick with the cat. I'll stick with the cat. Yeah, not the same. <laughs> they don't talk. Cats? Yeah, which is a good thing, I feel. I don't know. I think they're thinking up things. <laughs> Obviously, they're thinking up things. Like, how can I kill her? <laughs> how can they 
kill him. He doesn't want to kill me. The cat loves me. I'm his. That's favorite. true. Actually, he wants to kill your husband. He does. Yeah. He sits between us and everything. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, that's a bit weird. And he gives him one of these. That's, that's how the cat looks at my husband. Well, that's how old cats look at everybody, though. Not They're like, me, not me, not me. Cats love me. Well, yeah. I have an affinity with. Well, your beautiful feline type energy Thank from you. you. Thank you. And I'm selfish. <laughs> well, then you're a cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're out of time. The, uh, the, yeah. the, the hustle and grind. I carve my path. Each step forward in aftermath. Dreams pulsate within. Fueling my fire with determination to blaze. I never tire. Day by day, I chase the gleam. In the labyrinth of life, I crack my scheme. I'll nurture my aspirations, let them thrive In the symphony of ambition, I'll strive Rise up and showcase your might Show them what you want They say us take flight We'll scale the peaks, reach the zenith's height Together we'll ascend, never falter, never slight In the face of adversity, we stand tall With grit and valor, we heed the call No setback too great, no hurdle too steep we're the architects of our destiny, the dreamers who leave. So let's rise, let's soar, let's defy the limits imposed. Reach for the sky with unity as our strength and courage as our guide. We'll conquer the horizon side by side. Wrapping of the pipe tells us it's time to go. Bye. Do you want to do an awkward pause quickly? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think your pause is a bit angry. Yeah, I'm from South London. We're always angry. I know. I used to live in London. I always said people from South London smelled a bit like vomit, but you don't. Oh, thank you. You say the sweetest things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Do you want to say, uh, you know? Hi. No, goodbye. That's what you say. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> I love haggis. Really? Yeah, I love haggis. Good I like you. kind of strange foods. Though. Yeah, it's quite strange. See, it's... that's where I'm daring. You know, I don't surf or ride horses. Oh, but, but you'll I'll eat, eat anything. Anything, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I managed not to say it right there. <laughs>